passing to Travis Sandheim has been a real workhorse on the Philadelphia defense. He's seventh in the league in minutes played. Here's Konechny with an early chance and a great save by DeSmith as the Canucks turn it over the side of the goal. Now another shot from the line goes wide. There's a lot going on already here. I talked about the unpredictability of the first game after Christmas. And Zadorov burps this one up behind the net. It hits the side of the net. And Casey the Smith now gets a return pass from Katurian. Here's Frost shooting off the shoulder of DeSmith, who kept the shoulders up. And now the loose puck comes to Teddy Blue, who will take his time before chipping it down into the flyer zone and heading to the bench on a change. That the Flyers have gone 5-0-2 in their last seven road games is something because the power play has been very quiet as York loads up with that one and off the blocker and wide of the goal. Hoaglander steps out of the box. Canucks are on the power play for the next minute 25. As the puck is sent through to Smith, knocked it away, and now he's able to block the centering pass. Connor Garland takes control of the puck. Hughes to Miller. There you see the aggressive penalty coming, but the Canucks beat it with a pass to Pedersen. Throws under the crease. Who's Michael chopping at the puck? Couldn't make contact. And Sealer, while falling down, is able to slide it down the ice. Now Sealer. Pass Rackinson broken up. Here comes McCann with speed. Turns on Walker. Dishes back. Pedersen. Kuzmenko blocked. Atkinson might have saved the goal there. Now a shot by Hironik, and he didn't get much on it. It's into the glove of Erickson. He'll hang on for the whistle. I mentioned connecting with three short-handed goals. That's not tied for the league lead, but it is tying his career high, is what I meant to say. Nice pass back. Noah Jules. Ian Cole with a wrist shot. Tip stopped by Erson. Pedersen redirected that one. 15 points back in the second wild card. I like his optimism, but man, that <laughs> seems like a lot. Here's a chance for McCann. Erson just had that one hit him, I think. Canucks maintain control. But Juleson stripped of the puck in the blue line. And here comes Lottening on the right wing. Cuts in front, and he ran into the goal chair. Bluger line. Juleson will turn it over. They're currently tied for 10th at 722. Here's Hughes with a shot that ticked off the end of the glove of Erickson and went into the corner. Ran into Zamula as he got to the blue line. Flyers skate the other way. Atkinson. Wrists a long one in to Smith, top of the crease, makes that sit. And he'll take the whistle. We'll take another break. This game, face, not sure what happened. Did he ever figure it out? Here's Cole in with a shot and a glove saved by Erson, who snares that one and hangs on to stop play. Ahead to Hathaway. He leaves for Lott. He's got one to wrap, wrap around, and Smith just got back with the left pad. Man, there was a lot of net there for a moment. Brilliant work by DeSmith as he's got to react quickly. He knows he's got to go here as Lawton's around the back of the net, a half a stride in front of Ian Cole. And Tim skates, Garland digs it free, finds Cole, who's able to chip it to the line, but not out. Walker, left point, Sealer with a shot. DeSmith squeezes that one. Flyers try another shot off the draw. That bid by Brink went off a stick and over top of the goal. Now it's thrown hard to the crease by Palin. Atkinson leaves for Faraby, who sifts his way in, passes to Forster, feeds back, Yegor Zamula, Tyson Forster, watched by Pew Suter, here's Zamula, Suter staying with him, they score, Zamula threw it on goal, and if it wasn't tipped, that's his second career goal, and both of them have come at the expense of the Canucks. Twelve power play goals on the season. Zamula's goal here really looks kind of a lot like his first one, Shorty, against Thatcher Demko. This is through a screen the whole way. Nobody touches it. And Zamula's... Sealer fake one way, then lost the puck to Besser. Hoaglander from behind the net. Still has it, but it's knocked away towards Konechny, who brings the puck out to center. And he'll carry it over the line, feeding one through. It comes right across. They score! Walker joining the rush on the right side. The defenseman jumping in, and the Flyers with another one. They get 2 nothing. Sean Walker's fourth of the year starts way behind the net. 
He's in front of the net and he joins the rush. The Canucks are now chasing the play. And the first pass is chipped into the middle of the ice. Walker stays in the far lane. This is a great play by Owen Tippett to keep this puck moving. And Zanora had it knocked off his stick. He goes back to collect. Flyers 5 0 oh, 2 in their last seven road games. Here's a turnover. Chance for Farabee in on goal. He beats and he scores. Three quick ones for the Flyers late in the second, and it's 3 0. Philadelphia. They talked about being patient in a game where not much is happening. Here's an impatient play. It's Doros trying to make something happen. This is a pretty slick move on the breakaway. The 12th goal of the year for Joel Farabee. All of them at five on five. The breakaway drag back around the right toe of Casey DeSmith and the Flyers have a three spot and a three nothing lead. Konechny feeds one through. Katrini was checked following up as Konechny knocked off his stick by Myers. And Joshua finds Quinn Hughes who chips one down the left wing. Dakota Joshua cutting towards the goal. Centers. But this line, seven game point streak for Teddy Bluger. And 25 seconds into the third, the Canucks are on the board. Shorty, we just talked about making it harder on the opposition. A turnover, good play defensively. And Quinn Hughes will just flip this up the board to Dakota Joshua, who uses his size to get around the defenseman, Travis Sanheim. And as Bluger pulls up, because he's got Garland going to the far post, that creates a triangle of offense, two options for... Here comes Paling, shorthanded. Centering the puck, oh, DeSmith save, and they score on the rebound! Eighth shorthanded goal of the season for the Philadelphia Flyers, as Garnet Hathaway puts them back up by three and sucks a lot of the life out of this building. Goals in back-to-back -back games by Garnet Hathaway. Ryan Paling can really skate. A free agent signed in Pittsburgh, or from Pittsburgh, rather. In the offseason, Paling gets to the puck, and when Besser stops up in the middle of the ice, he doesn't take care of Hathaway on the back door. DeSmith makes one save. A couple of blocks, a couple good plays in front of Carter Hart. Here's Connor Garland. All alone is McCann. Stopped by Hart. Robson on the call. So many New Year's Eve meetings with the Flyers. Seemed like they were here every year. There's a chance right in front. What an opportunity for Niels Oman. Easy call for the official to make. Here's Niels Oman. A little earlier, this puck's up in the air and he times it coming down. And Couturier leaves for Tippett. Dying seconds of the power play. Besser standing in the box. Here's Frost across, and a nice save by DeSmith there. He had a great chance for a power play goal here. Frost to tip it, but DeSmith able to make the save. Now maybe one last bid for me and Cole. Feeds it over. Heronic long shot into the glove of Hart. He doesn't want to stop play. He wants this one to come to an end, and that's what it will do as the Philadelphia Flyers improve to 6-0-2 in their last eight road games.